Thank you for joining us again today, and thank you for your presence in many different ways. Uh, very special thanks to Paul and Claire Weisenberger for that reflective song that we dedicated to mothers, both living and deceased, the prayer. And uh, we're so blessed to have them help join us in worship and helping to praise God every, every week. And uh, things that are continuing to happen here, our contemplative prayer group, which met on Saturday mornings in the community room, now continues to meet virtually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8.30 in the morning and on Saturday at 9 a.m. If you are interested in becoming part of that virtual prayer group, that contemplative prayer group through Zoom, just email us at the parish and we will give you the details and the connecting link. Also, the, um, they pray all of those intentions that are written in our parish book of prayers. They pray those every, they lift all those up on those days then they gather. So if you have an intention or someone you want us to pray for, let us know that through the parish email. And if you have any needs that we can help address, we've had lots of people volunteer through our Ministry of Presence to be of assistance. Maybe you just want somebody to call and talk to you on a regular basis if you live alone. And not talk about the headlines, but talk about some nice things and some enjoyable things. So call the Ministry of Presence. That's Deacon Paul Emerson and our parish nurse, Anne-Marie McIsaac. And their number is the parish number, 833-0298 extension 309. And finally, a word of thanks to all of you who are supporting us. You're sending in your envelopes. That really, really helps. We're trying to keep everybody employed. All of our, all of our team, all of our teachers are working very hard. They're in the fourth quarter of the academic year, kind of rounding the, I guess they call it the clubhouse turn, coming into to the end of the year. But the kind of the novelty for many kids of distance learning has maybe worn off a little bit. So they have to be more and more creative and ingenious in terms of engaging them. So they're working very, very hard. So thank you for your support so that we can keep them employed. And I think that's it for today. We just wish you so. a happy Mother's Day to all, all our mothers, both living and deceased. And, and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> God bless. <laughs>